Okay, in last class we have discussed about the design procedure of analog butterbut filter. Today we will discuss another family of analog filters called Chebyshev filters. There are two types of Chebyshev filters, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 filters are all pole filters. That means there are no zeros. Whereas type 2 filter contain both poles and zeros. Type 1 filter contain ripple in passband and it is monotonic in stopband. Whereas type 2 filter is monotonic in passband and contain ripples in stop band. Type 2 filters in some book it is also called inverse Chebyshev filters. Now after this if we compare Chebyshev filters with Butterworth filter we can find Butterworth filter is monotonic in both passband and stop band whereas it is up to us to choose where Chebyshev filter will be monotonic and where it will have ripples depending upon the type of filter we want to use type 1 or type 2. As the points of ripple comes into the picture we know ripples behavior in filter points for the lower order specifications and monotonic behavior points for higher order behavior that means ripple behavior is for lower order monotonic behavior higher order so from these three points we can conclude Chebyshev filter can provide results with lower order compared to Butterworth filter this is its advantage so after comparing Chebyshev filter with Butterworth filter, we will discuss more about Chebyshev filter and specifically type 1 filter. As we know for analog filters, we usually find out magnitude response in magnitude square. So in a similar manner, we will write the magnitude square response of Chebyshev filter which can be written as h a omega square equals to 1 over 1 plus e square this is a function t n square omega over omega c where this e is pass band ripple and t n x we will write is nth order Chebyshev polynomial. Now this entire properties of Chebyshev filter depends upon this polynomial. So we will discuss this polynomial in great detail. This Chebyshev polynomial is given as Tnx equals to cos and cos inverse x for mod x less than 1 cos hyperbolic and cos hyperbolic inverse x for mod x greater than 1. Now we can see this x if we match from the magnitude response this x is nothing but omega over omega c that means mod x less than 1 is nothing but the passband and mod x greater than 1 is nothing but stop band. That means this polynomial will behave separately in pass band and behave separately in stop band. Just like the previous window functions which we have read in FIR. Before moving forward, we will just go through the Euler's identity quickly so we can understood the difference between cos and cos hyperbolic. Cos theta can be written as exponential j theta plus exponential minus j theta by 2 
whereas cos hyperbolic theta can be written as exponential theta plus exponential minus theta by 2. That means we can clearly see for any value the minimum value of cos hyperbolic theta will be 1. That means when theta is equal to 0, exponential theta will be 1 plus 1 and then it will be 1. So the minimum value we can obtain for cos hyperbolic theta is 1. Now we can have some observations about this polynomial. First observation is what happens when we put x equals to 1. So we will just find out the first part for x equals to 1. If we substitute x equals to 1 then tn 1 will be equal to cos n cos inverse 1. Right? Because at 1 it is less than or equal to 1. Then we can put cos inverse 1 is nothing but cos n into 0 which is cos 0 and the answer is tn1 is equal to 1. Now this is true for any value of n. So this is our first observation and x equals to 1 also mean omega over omega c equals to 1. That's mean omega is equal to omega c. Now the second observation we want to have what if n is odd. We know that cos hyperbolic is not the confined function and hyperbolic functions tends to infinity with increasing value of independent variable. That means tnx will tends to infinity as x increases provided mod x is greater than 1. So we will apply this n odd condition for only the passband cases. Then we can write tnx in passband equals to cos n cos inverse x at x equals to 0 that means omega over omega c equals to 0 that means omega is equal to 0 then tn0 is equal to cos n cos inverse 0 which is equal to cos n pi by now if n is odd then tn0 is also equal to 0. Now finding the magnitude response which is h a omega square at omega is equal to 0 will be 1 over 1 plus e square into tn omega over omega c square. At if n is odd and at omega is equal to 0 this term will be 0. So h a omega square will be equal to 1. So this is our second observation. Third is if n is even. In a similar manner, we will not discuss about the stop band because at the stop band, cos hyperbolic functions are involved and those functions will tend towards infinity as the value of x increases. So we will focus on pass band. Then we know tnx is equal to cos n cos inverse x where x is equal to omega over omega c. Now for x equals to 0 and n is even, omega will be equals to 0 for x equals to 0. That's mean tn0 will be equal to cos n cos inverse 0 equals to cos n pi by 2. Now please note that this n is even. So n by 2, n by 2 is an integer. Integer value can be written as m. We will write it as m. So tn0 is equal to cos m pi. That means depending upon the value of m, tn0 will be equals to 1 plus or minus. If m is even, then it is positive 1. If n is odd, then it is negative 1. Now if you find out the magnitude response, h a omega square at omega is equal to 0 for n even it will be 1 over 1 plus e square tn square omega over omega c so this goes to 0 this is going to 0 so it is and tn square will be 1 over 
1 plus e square plus minus 1 square. So this function is equal to 1 over 1 plus e square. So we have find out that h omega square will be 1 over 1 plus e square at omega is equal to 0. Whereas if n is odd, then h omega square at omega is equal to 0 is equal to 1. Now, if you want to see the impact of this n odd and even, we will plot the frequency response characteristics of h a omega square. The frequency response characteristics of magnitude square in Chebyshev filter will vary for odd and even cases of n. If n is odd, then at omega is equal to 0, the value is 1. So the ripple will start from 1 and then go up to 1 over 1 plus e square and then oscillate between these two points. So this is for n odd. Now if n is even, then it will start from 1 over 1 plus e square as we have find out and then go up to the maximum value of 1 and then come again. So this is for n even. It can be seen from the both cases that at omega p and omega p, the magnitude square response is 1 over 1 plus e square, which is true as the magnitude square response at j omega square is equal to 1 over 1 plus square p n square omega over omega c. Now at omega is equal to omega p, which is also equal to omega c. In Chebyshev filter, omega p and omega c are same. Then this mod of h a omega square will be equal to 1 over 1 plus e square t n square with 1. And the value of t n square 1, we have already find out, it's 1. So substituting, we'll get at omega is equal to omega p. Then h a omega p square is equal to 1 over 1 plus e square irrespective of the order of the filter. So we can see in all cases at omega p the magnitude is 1 over 1 plus e square. Magnitude is square response. So it is h a omega square mod h a omega square. So we can say from 0 to x up to 1 for x varying from 0 to 1 or we can say 0 to omega c or omega p mod of h a omega square will oscillate between 1 to 1 over 1 plus e square and give ripple behavior also called equiripples. So this is the first observation we have seen. Second point from this odd and even point we have seen for x greater than 1 that is omega is greater than omega c or omega p, p n x will increase monotonically as it is a function of hyperbolic cosine. Then h a omega square which is equal to 1 over 1 plus e square p n x square will decrease monotonically. So we have seen for the pass band how magnitude square response will behave and we have also seen for the stop band how magnitude square response will behave. Third observation for Tnx is we can calculate the value of Tnx by a recursive relation if n is greater than 2 by using Tnx equals to 2x Tn minus 1 x minus Tn minus 2. So this particular equation is only valid n is greater than 2. Now if we want to find out for n equals to 2 then t 2n t 2x will be equal to 2x t1 x minus t0 x. Now t0x is equal to cos 0 into cos inverse x. So it will be cos 0 which is nothing but equal to 1. t1x is equal to cos 1 cos inverse x equals to cos into cos inverse x gives the value x. Substituting this to find out 
t to x, we can get t to x equals to 2x square minus 1. Then we can find out the value of t3x equals to 2x t2x minus t1x. 2x into 2, t2x we have just evaluated that is 2x square minus 1 minus t1x is x. So it is 4x cube minus 3x. And in a similar manner, we can find out the different values of polynomial without going through this cosine and cos hyperbolic terms. Fourth observation is HA omega P, which we have already seen, square is 1 over 1 plus E square and HA omega S square is equal to 1 over A square. That's all for this lecture. In next lecture, we will discuss poles of Chebyshev filter. Thank you.